Today on the CTV News at 5, residents of a small southern Alberta community express their concern about losing both of their doctors. Plus, one politician's plan to bring a little holiday cheer to Canadian troops serving overseas. And Canada's oldest surviving female veteran celebrates another milestone. CTV News with Kayla Carr. Good afternoon. The mayors of three southern Alberta communities and the Reeve of the County of Warner are meeting with local health officials this afternoon. They're concerned because the town of Milk River is losing both of its doctors. Alberta Health Services says it has plans to deal with the physician shortage, but local residents say the situation won't improve until they can find doctors who are willing to move to the town. Terry Vogt reports. Residents of Milk River, Coots, Warner and the County of Warner are urged to attend tomorrow night's information meeting, which gets underway at 7 o'clock at the Milk River Civic Centre. Health officials will provide an update and talk about immediate plans to provide health service. A second meeting will be held January 5th to plan for long-term solutions. Meanwhile, we're coming to the end of the planned mass immunization H1N1 clinics. Southern Alberta's wrap up tomorrow. You can get your shot at Park Place Mall in Lethbridge tomorrow afternoon from 2 to 4. The clinic will be held at the former Petcetera location. In Medicine Hat, the clinic will also run from 2 to 4 at the health unit. You'll need to bring a piece of ID and your health care card. Two people from McGrath have been killed in a collision on the Trans-Canada Highway just west of Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. RCMP say the man and a woman were in a van that collided with a semi-trailer Friday morning. 51-year-old Kelly Kinniard died at the scene. 50-year-old Michelle Kinniard died Saturday in the Moose Jaw Hospital. The driver of the semi was not injured. Police say the crash happened at an intersection and ice fog was blanketing the area at the time. RCMP and Cranbrook are releasing the name of a man killed in a crash last week. It happened on Friday night, about one kilometer north of the airport access road. Police say as a car was trying to exit the highway across the center line, the driver tried to correct the vehicle and it end up, ended up going off the road and into two trees. 47-year-old Craig Cormack died at the scene. East Kootenai Traffic Services and the BC Coroner's Office are investigating.